Hello every and anyone. Welcome to my life. Um, it feels like such a strange time to be talking about makeup. I haven't filmed in a long time. I actually started a new job that I no longer have. <laughs> um, so yeah, the world is kind of topsy-turvy and I wasn't sure what to say on it or if we could just have some escapism together. So we're gonna play with something new with really dreamy colors and feel normal for a little while, okay? <laughs> I'm having a really bad base day. Um, I'm looking down here because I have my mirror set up. So yeah, I'm having a really bad base day and I might talk about it in a video in the future, so we're just gonna ignore it. <laughs> it's not the best color for me. Um, it is what it is. As you may know why we're here, RMS just launched this new collection and I, have been talking myself out of buying the Lost Angel blush since it launched <laughs> because I prefer matte blushes now. I was like a NARS orgasm queen back in the day. I probably used up multiple, which is weird to think about. Like I used Urban Decay's Naked Eyeshadow and NARS orgasm because I was very basic and possibly still am. <laughs> so anyway, they just came out with this. I bought it as soon as I saw it on uh, Sephora Canada. It was like 62 bucks, so it's not the cheapest. This is what it looks like when you open it up inside. You get three products. And just for comparison size. Oh, this one is a little bit bigger. This is the Mod Collection. Like so, really loved, really used. And this is the Lost Angel Duo here. Oh, and they've started adding mirrors. I get it, RMS, we've been asking you to do that, but I'm a little bit disappointed just because you can't recycle mirrors or anything. But anyway, let's look. I haven't seen these yet. It is like peachy and gorgeous. Reminds me of a blush my mom said she wore for her wedding day. So it's like very fancy. And so that's the Lost Angel blush and the Midnight Hour Luminizer, which I thought was limited edition for the set. I apparently now own <laughs> all of the RMS Beauty Luminizers. I am a collector like that. I did that with Becca back in the day and I'm just kind of embarrassed that I managed to do it again. So we'll maybe, we'll do some comparative swatches. This is the Passion Lip Tint. I believe this is a new product. Oh, it looks really pretty. Oh, I wanna throw that on right now. And finally, the Lost Angel Lip to Cheek. Now, I think I mentioned this in my Instagram stories that they've also switched to a plastic lid on top of these. I'm not really sure why, maybe they changed where they produce and obviously I love RMS very much, so I'm gonna go with the flow, but <laughs> I definitely preferred the metal lids. And this is what it looks like. This is still looks like a frosted glass pot, I, I hope, I believe. And that looks really, really pretty. Now I have a lot, I'm gonna be using some weird brushes because I have a lot of brushes dirty and I'm saving my soap for intensive hand washing, as I'm sure we all are, as well as many other things around the house. So I'm gonna go a little out of order because I think we're all a little excited about the duo, but I'm gonna go in with the Passion Lip Tint. Let's do a little swatchy swatch. I don't think it's gonna, it almost looks like nothing. I've been really liking lip tints lately. I've been wearing this Be Adored. I think this is by Tata Harper. Yeah, Tata, Tata Harper, natural, non-toxic. Super red, so definitely more pigmented, maybe a bit of a brighter color. I think right now, like when we're running out to the grocery store, <laughs> I had a whole conversation with myself about opening new makeup and touching things. I have washed my hands before this. I don't know if I should use hand sanitizer too, or only use clean brushes, or tell me what you <laughs> tell me what you think uh, about all of that down below because. Got a lot of time on my hands and I'm scared to touch anything. So there's that. All right, we're going in. I kind of love it. I don't think this is a long lasting wearing product. I really like it. It kind of reminds me of when everyone uses a uh, Kosas rose water. So that's very nice. Should we do a little dabby dab with the lip to cheek? Oh, maybe I should have put the lip to cheek on, but we're putting it on the cheeks, so. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I have a couple lip to cheeks and I feel like they're more matte. So that definitely has a shine. It also feels more emollient, which is interesting. I'm kind of into that. I'm just gonna pat it on. I don't have any uh, luminizer or anything on. 
the skin yet. Oh my gosh. It's not even blended. And I think it's really pretty. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start wearing this every day. I'm gonna wear it every day. I I love Kierweiss Embraced, and that one wears really well on me. It's a little drier formula, so definitely love that one too. Oh, I think I've got a little. Hmm. We're ignoring the base today. Remember, we promised, right? But this, oh, <laughs> I look like a complete dork but I love this oh how cool is that and I feel like I have a peachy blue-eyed blonde hair goddess friends <laughs> some of them and I think this would look so pretty on them and I think I can pull it off too so far these are big wins for me oh if I didn't mention I'm wearing um, the RMS lip liner in daytime nude uh, just before I put that lip tint on for a little more definition and I think we're going into the thing that we are all here for and you might laugh at me because I'm using a fan brush and who uses a fan brush sometimes I really like these I was gonna dust these all over the cheeks but honestly I don't I don't want to ruin the cheeks I love that so much okay so again we've got passion lip tint this is the lip to cheek and I am no good at swatches <laughs> and that's the ooh. Yeah, this highlighter is, it's pretty dark, so I'm gonna compare it uh, to the luminizers I have as well, and I think it's medium. <laughs> okay, so I didn't swatch the bronzer because it's um, bronze and very obviously quite different, but these are the powders. So this is Grand Dame. It's the closest to working for me, but even I would still like it a bit lighter. This is the Rose Goldie here. So Midnight Hour and peach one? Oh, it's even darker than I thought. And that's the peach from the peach, Savannah Peach Collection. So you can tell they all have different tones. I really like using that luminizer as an eyeshadow, which is kind of hilarious because it's the biggest thing ever. Or like a blush topper, which, who am I? When would I ever have thought of using a blush topper? <laughs> but I do. <laughs> so that's quite fun. So let's go in. One of my clean mini brushes is from Sigma, years old. And I think we're just gonna do the Midnight Hour as a start, that luminizer. I'm gonna take it quite far up because I really want you to be able to see it. Let's get in here without and with. And then on the other side of the brush, into that uh, blush color. Oh man, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to wear this one as an eyeshadow, but you could, you definitely could. It's really pink because it's a blush, obviously. <laughs> you know what, I might have to ruin what I've done. And I'm going to take a little, oh, no, we're going to go in with the blush. This is now with blush and luminizer powder on the cheeks, nice and rosy and glowy. I'm just gonna even out the eyes and I've just turned my light off so hopefully you can see a little better. So some final thoughts, I'm really glad I opened this because I think I'm gonna be wearing it a lot around the house or just to the grocery store or whatever it is. I'm usually a red lip person or like a beige nude. So this kind of kissed by an angel color, I don't know how you call it. It's all very ethereal. It's probably as ethereal as I'm ever gonna get. I really like the shine. Um, I like that there's something for everyone. So you've got the powder, the cream, the lip tint, um, that kind of thing. So it really depends if you like the colors. I think the formula is consistent. I've tried another, other blushes and highlighters and they seem pretty, uh, the texture and everything seems very consistent among the colors with the formula. And that lip to cheek is basically my new favorite thing for whatever reason. Maybe it will dry out a wee bit because my other ones were definitely not quite that uh, slick, but it leaves just the most beautiful sheen on the cheeks in real life. I'm not sure how much it's picking up on camera, but that is like, ugh, 
I don't even know what my favorite piece from the collection is because they're all so, so good. So please ask me um, any questions that you may have. I'm really happy to help. I do think it's good value, even, um, I would maybe wait for it to get into Sephora Canada because the dollar is not doing great right now. So um, ordering off RMS's website specifically is kind of a no-go, but really, really beautiful collection. So glad I bought it. And if you're an RMS lover like I am, I really recommend. So thank you so much for watching and <laughs> putting up with all of this once more. <laughs> and until next time, keep smiling out there. Bye.